Welcome to the How to Play Marching Drum series. It's all about improving your drumming fundamentals. Subscribe to my channel to not miss the next videos and feel free to message me if you've got any questions. I'm Cedric and it's time to get better. Okay, so first I want to talk about the practice setup. It's essential to have your instrument in the height and position you always have it. So the first golden rule is don't sit down while practicing. It's going to change all of your angles. The second rule is always use a metronome. It gives you the guarantee to stay in time, always. And the third rule, always use your feet. The mark time has given you the chance to practice marching and playing at the same time. And it has a benefit to get the tempo into your body. So no matter what you are practicing, don't sit down, always use a metronome, always use your feet. So this is called the traditional grip. For basses and tenors, it would be the matched grip where both hands are matching talk about the right hand first. For the grip of the right hand, place the lower third in your palm, wrap your fingers around it and place the thumb across from your index finger. Don't squeeze too much, the stick needs room to breathe. The combination of thumb and index finger is building the fulcrum point where it builds the pressure to play. On the left hand, we are building the fulcrum first. So lower third, have your index finger, then the thumb. That should build a cross. Always keep that cross, no matter what you are playing. It's resting on the ring finger, and the middle and pinky are resting naturally. For the right playing position, just move your arms up, and now you should have a distance of two fingers between the rim and the stick on both sides. And again, it should all be natural. So don't go too far out with your right arm. Just keep it natural. The motion should be on the most natural way too. So always play from your wrist and not from your arm. The motion should follow the tip. The same for the left hand. Don't do a short angle and then add your arm. Do the wrist's full potential on turning it before you're adding the arm. So instead of working too much from ourselves, we're letting the rebound of the drum the work do. It's way more efficient. Let's talk about the four essential stroke types. So the first one is a rebound stroke. Start up here, hit the drum and end up in the same position. So that means you have to have a high velocity on your stroke to not end up only here. It has to be hard enough to do all the way just from the rebound. Same with the left. Start up here and end at the same position. Enough velocity. The second one is a downstroke. We are starting in the same position as for the rebound stroke, but we end down here in our tap height. So we are hitting the drum but stopping the stick instead of letting it rebound. That's a downstroke. Same with the left. The third one is a tap stroke. It's in what we call tap height at 3 inch. No worries, we're going to talk about the height in the next video. And it has the same velocity as a rebound and down stroke, but only in the 3 inch. Same with the left.
And the fourth one, the upstroke. So we basically play in a tap stroke that is preparing the next accent. So we're starting low and ending high. This type of stroke takes the most muscle work because we have to do the way up by ourselves, not by the rebound. In this exercise, we want to combine all of those four strokes, combination of down, tap, up, rebound. Right hand first, 110 BPM. Left hand only, 110 BPM. Also try to play this in different tempos and combinations. Have fun and see you next time.